Soaring gas prices are stoking fears of crisis in the UK. A series of energy providers have already gone bust, limited by law in their ability to pass on the higher prices to customers. Experts say many more could follow into bankruptcy. The UK government said Tuesday that it might step in with loans to other providers if they have to take on customers from failed rivals. It all has consumers worried how much it will cost to heat their homes during winter. But the impact could go far wider. The rise in prices, up around 250% since January, have halted some output of fertiliser, an energy-intensive product. That, in turn, cuts off supplies of carbon dioxide, a by-product of the industry. Durham University energy expert John Gluyas says that could mean empty shelves in supermarkets. But the food industry requires high-grade carbon dioxide, essentially pure carbon dioxide, and it uses it in a number of ways. It uses it in packaging of food goods uh, to uh, lengthen their shelf lives. Similarly, it's used in the slaughtering industry to stun animals before they're slaughtered. There's no one reason for the rising prices, a global phenomenon. Demand has jumped as the world emerges from lockdown. Supplies from Russia have been lower than usual. Some nuclear plants are shut for maintenance, and calm weather has cut wind output. Speaking in Parliament on Monday, UK Business Minister Kwasi Kwarteng tried to sound reassuring. There is absolutely no question, Mr Speaker, of the lights going out or people being unable to heat their homes. Industry is responding, with Norway promising to boost gas supplies. Even so, many consumers will wonder if there is a cold and expensive winter ahead. 